Hi and welcome everyone. This is Axel again. Um, welcome to a new series of video tutorials. This time it will be about creating a blogging application. It will be a sequence of five or six uh, 10 minute short tutorials to show you the basic steps you need to create a real world blogging application with our new software version structure 3.0. You can um, download that from structure.com. And if you download the, the new version, you automatically get an evaluation key sent to you by email. Okay, now let's start by logging in uh, to the structure um, uh, application. That's that's the, uh, the administration user interface. Uh, we just jump to uh, the schema editor. This is the, the main tool for data modeling. And first of all, let's um, clean up a little bit by clicking on the layout page so everything is a little bit rearranged and hidden. Uh, here you can still find these all these built-in um, types, but uh, it's easier to follow. Um, blogging application, that means we want to display um, blog posts. This will, um, this will be the content of the first episode, how to create a data model for blog posts and add some data and display them on a page. Um, we create a first data type called blog post. Please note the notation. It's a, the very common uppercase ca upper camel case um, notation. Um, very familiar. It should be familiar if you are using Java or C Sharp or something similar. We click on add and the schema will be recompiled and this new type will be added to the existing data model of the application. Um, here a new node was created and displayed on the on the canvas here, uh, which represents the type blog post. You could click here and rename that um, or click on this edit icon um, where you can um, edit all the details. Uh, first of all, we will add some attributes. One is the title. It's a string attribute. And the second one is text to store the main blog post text. It's also a string attribute. Having done that, we are already um, prepared to create some example content. For this purpose, we click on the, or we'll open the data area in the new tab. So you can jump easily between all those areas here. Um, now we click on the newly created blog post type, cre uh, click on create new blog post and just enter a title and some text. Uh, I will first of all, uh, remove some of our hide. They are not removed, of course just hidden some of these uh, attributes which are not interesting for now so we can see everything um, here so the title will be happy birthday and the text just happy birthday to you um, that's all we need to create uh, now we created first um, database with some um, Content example content now go back. We go back to the pages also open it in a um, Separate tab so I can jump between these areas very easily Now to display this blog post we just created on the page. We could either create a new page um, and add some more elements and try to to make it uh, a bit uh, more beautiful or we could just uh, select um, a template and import that into structure um, to make our lives a little bit easier so let's do that go on the internet and search for simple blog post template and I will add the keyword bootstrap because bootstrap is a nice uh, HTML CSS framework we often use in our demos and also in real-world projects um, let's see, start bootstrap is a nice site where you find, um, nice looking, but still simple enough templates, um, you can use to start your applications with. That's a nice one. It has all the elements we, uh, we will need for this, um, 
um, video tutorial series. So just copy this URL into the clipboard, go back to the pages area, and now we click on this import template icon. Um, copy the or paste this URL into this input field, click somewhere to uh, get a suggestion of or for a page name. I will just remove this first here. So make it visible to public and authenticated users and click on start import. And now this page will be imported into structure and all the resources connected to the page like CSS and JavaScript files and also images if they are present will be automatically downloaded and linked to the page. Now this page is now has now a very uh, rich content or, or HTML markup tree here on the left hand side and the preview which is exactly what we saw on the static uh, uh, internet server here in the middle. Now we want to replace the, the static, the, the blind text we just imported by our own content. We added to the database um, a couple of minutes before. Now click somewhere in the preview here in the middle to identify the element which is responsible for rendering this content. And we just remove everything else here because we only need one paragraph, one text block. So you see all these uh, P elements will be removed. Okay, now we have to replace this static text by uh, a template expression. Template expression is like the connection to the data. It's very similar to other content management systems or web frameworks or even programming languages. So there are two ways to do that. You could either click on the element in the page tree or use the, the the uh, preview in the middle directly. We just click on this content element and replace this text by dollar curly braces current dot text. So the dollar sign and the curly braces are um, used to define a template expression. The current element is a special keyword which is used to reference one single object in the database and text is just the attribute name of text of the text um, in of, of the blog post um, uh, class we just created save and close and we do the same with the title this time in the preview uh, current dot title hit tab or click somewhere outside this element to store it that's all you need to create a page and bind it to content from the database. Uh, now to preview this page, click on this eye icon and it opens in a new tab. And now we see the page, but of course we don't see the content um, here yet. Um, we have to navigate to this individual object like um, you would do in the, uh, when you click on the menu entry. Now, go, we go back to the data section because now we need we just do it manually for now. Later on, we will create a menu uh, or an automatically created link. But for now, we just copy the uh, UUID. This is a universal unique identifier, which is added automatically to any object in the database by structure. Yeah, copy that into the, uh, the clipboard, go back to the pages area. Uh, oh no, we go to back to the um, uh, page and now we just append it to the URL in, in the browser browser's address um, uh, line and hit enter. And now, now we have addressed the detail object with this particular um, ID and it will be rendered on the blog post page. And you see, we have the, the content we just entered into the database uh, before. Uh, there's a trick to also use or to also display um, single objects in the preview. You just have to define or um, add that UUID in the preview settings of, of the page. Just paste that into this input field, click somewhere to store this uh, and reload the whole preview. 
or the whole um, pages builder tool and now you see the preview also shows our individual content okay um, that was it that was the uh, the first episode of this series uh, we want to keep it very short and and uh, precise so that you can follow them um, if you are interested to replay this tutorial by yourself we will um, store th all the the, the whole definition of this application we just build, are building in this th uh, um, in these uh, videos, um, in uh, we, we can just export that whole definition, that entire definition, and you can then import that definition from a single zip file. We will upload later on. I will link the uh, the URL in the in the description of this video. Um, okay. Um, that's it. That's what I wanted to uh, show you in this first episode. Stay tuned. There will be more to follow. And um, yeah, if you liked it, we of course uh, are happy if you give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, please use the comment section below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will publish some more um, video tutorials and other stuff and uh, occasionally do some live recording. Yeah. Um, okay, so see you next time. Bye bye.